three or, or four centimeters far from the crab, then we drill by this way, so to go deep under the crab, so the chemical when we are making injection, it will go from down up, when we see physically that the, the chemicals are going out of the crab, that means the crab is filled of material. So now let's, let's make the drilling piece first, so we can know, after drilling we have to use the vacuum to clean to clean the, 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 the dust, otherwise it will block the crab. This is very important. Before doing injection, we have to make vacuum after, uh, after drilling to clean the, the, the hole from dust. It will be no blocking for the crab later on. So, one second. Yeah, okay. Now we will fix the packers inside the hole, then we will see how everything works. Close. Packers, as well as we are using the, the Kaiser tooth machine for the, for the injection, we just insert the Kaiser packer inside, then also this, like, until it goes till the end. We try to tighten it. Stop. 
we don't make over tightening, otherwise the packer will be loose. Just when we feel that the rubber is already stuck inside, so that means it's finished. Now, since the surface now is ready, we can go and see the machine and how to use the machine and we start make the injection itself, okay? Since the surface is ready, we will, we will start exp uh, explain about the Kaiser Tool injection machine, which is diaphragm machine. First, the advantage of diaphragm machine, that means we can control the pressure from zero up to 230 bar by using the pressure regulator. This we just press inside and then we start controlling the pressure. The pressure will be shown here. As we said, from zero up to 230 bar. This is the first advantage of a diaphragm machine. Second thing, for the controlling the flow, we have to check the gun. This gun first it has a safety lock as we can see here, which is avoiding un any unnecessary uh, pressing for any material. Now, from here we can control the flow of the material. That means the one who made drilling, he knows already the type of the concrete which he is drilling in. If it is very hard or soft, if it is hard that means we have to press more to make the, the chemicals goes strongly inside the, the concrete, that means we will use the high pressure. Then if the, if the concrete is soft, we just press slowly, let the chemical go inside very smoothly. This is the advantage of using a gun of the high pressure machine. Now, also there is something else that the machine is very easy to be operated. The machine is very easy to be operated. First, we have switch for the start and off. Second, we have pressure regulator. Third thing, we have something for recycling and cleaning, which is recycling unit. Here we can see this bulb. We just, when we do it like that, then the chemical or the cleaning items to go start inside the, the, the machine goes by recycling. So the cleaning of the machine is very easy. It's not complicated for anyone of or any type of labels. This is also the third advantage of this machine. Now we will start doing the injection and then we can see how the injection operation is finished. Regarding the chemicals, who decide what kind of chemicals the consultant himself or the contractor himself with which they, they do the inspection over the site. First of all, the most, the most important thing, we do not mix or uh, make the, the, the chemicals ready until the surface is ready because the chemicals usually is very uh, it's, it's cured with uh, sometimes for five minutes the, the spot life of, of, the, of the chemicals is very short so now we prepare the chemicals we just put it in after mixing and then we start make the injection first of all first of all when we put the chemicals inside the machine before putting the chemicals, we have to use one round of oil. The oil makes the, the rubbers and seals inside the machine wet, so it will not make the chemicals dry very, uh, very fast inside the machine itself. This is the first thing. The second thing, when we are operating the machine and with oil, first we do make recycling to, be, to, be, to make sure that the recycling unit is working. Otherwise, if the recycling unit is not working, and the machine working, when we will make the cleaning, the machine will be blocked. This is the steps how to use the, the machine. Now, we will try to check how this recycling unit is working, then we can put the chemical itself. Here we are adjusting the pressure to make it low pressure, then we open the recycling unit. As we can see here, the chemical now, the, the oil start going. So it means the recycling unit in the machine is working. So we can start make injection itself. Now we turn off the machine. We close. 
to make also the hose and the, 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 the gun wet, then we put the chemicals and start making injection. Now, let's start with the first step by oil. Pleasant way, to, pleasant uh, way to use this machine. This is done. <laughs> 